Here we're going to look at question 11 from section 2 of the BMAT 2014 paper. So in this question, we're told we have two electrically insulating rods, X and Y. We're told that rod X is rubbed with a cloth, and then after this it repels rod Y. So what the question asks us is a selection of eight statements which are along the lines um, of rod X gains or loses either protons or electrons, and rod Y is then positively charged, negatively charged or uncharged. Um, so we're given eight different permutations, which does not include all the different permutations of this, um, but it does obviously include eight of them. So if you'd like to have a go at this question yourself, then please pause the video now. Um, otherwise, let's have a go at it. Okay, so to go about answering this question, um, let's think about some of the information we've been given. So one of the options we're given is that the number of protons on rod X is changing. Um, that they're being gained or lost. Well, um, protons um, are inside the nucleus of an atom. They're not just free um, moving around the rod. Um, they are in stuck inside the nucleus. And they're actually bound really tightly inside the nucleus. And you couldn't just remove a, um, a proton from a nucleus very easily whatsoever. So actually, they're going to be too tightly bound to be removed by just rubbing a cloth against a rod X. Um, so we know that actually the number of protons isn't going to change at all. And what could perhaps happen is that you rub the rod and a whole atom comes loose and then the number of protons would change but it wouldn't really be affecting the charge of it as such since it would be moving a whole neutral atom um, rather than removing just specifically the protons. Um, so um, with that in mind let's go ahead and look at some other information we've been told. Well, We know that um, the two rods are going to repel each other so when we think about the charges um, if something is uncharged, it can't be repelled by another charge because the charges have to be opposite to repel. Um, so you'd have to have like a positive and a positive thing or a negative and a negative. You couldn't have, say, a positive and an uncharged thing. Um, that wouldn't have any effect on each other. So um, uncharged can't be an option either. At which point we whittled ourselves, um, ourselves down to a few options, uh, which is actually going to be just three of the options given in the question. Um, and to simply find the correct one out of these three, all we have to do is find the situation out of them um, where the charges are opposite. So, um, for example, if we were to gain electrons um, and the, the rod be positively charged, then gaining electrons means that rod X is going to be negative, and rod Y being positively charged means that um, the two will attract one another. So that's obviously not correct. Um, however, if rod X was to lose electrons, um, then it would be becoming more positive. So if Y is also positively charged, um, then the two rods would repel each other, so that is going to be the correct one. Rod X loses electrons, and rod Y is positively charged. So this corresponds to answer F given in our question.